the Easter season this year, we read from 1 Peter, and he says some surprising things about life and suffering because of your faith. Any and all suffering is bad on the whole, but suffering because of your faith in Jesus seems like a true injustice. If God loves me, then why am I suffering for being his child? That's one of the strange quirks of being a faithful Christian. You may suffer in this life just like Jesus did. This doesn't mean that God has forgotten you. It doesn't mean that God has abandoned you to the whims of evil. But rather, as St. Peter says, to this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. When trouble comes, it's easy to doubt that God hears your prayers. It's easy to see that trouble as a sign that God your Father has abandoned you. But that's not it at all. The holy apostles rejoiced that they were found worthy to suffer for Jesus' name. We're not even close to that mindset today, are we? Because even when you suffer the normal things, you know, a bad grade, a breakup, posting the wrong thing on social media, you might think that life couldn't get any worse. But suffering for being one of the baptized, that's a whole other level. And that's okay. Really, it is. You've been left an example, gifted and strengthened to follow in Jesus' footsteps. You are worthy to suffer for Jesus' name because he has marked you as his own. That sounds bad, doesn't it? None of us want to suffer for Jesus' name. Nope, not in the plan. But here's the thing. If and when suffering does come, St. Paul says, suffering produces endurance, which produces character, which produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. In all things, God's love for you abounds, and he will see you through all these troubles until he returns for you on the last day.